So this is part two of exercise one, lab seven. I guess I ran out of uh, time on my first video, uh, timed out on me. So uh, where we left off was uh, hydrochloric acid. We were um, taking the cork boards. I'm kind of show you here how I got this set up. It tells you to create a um, cork board and label it hydrogen and chlorine. Use push pins to represent the valence electrons. Hopefully you can see what I got set up here all right and if you can notice i had the, the next step step four says arrange the cork boards together to create hydrogen or uh sorry hydrochloric acid um use the ruler to cut your uh, seven squall pieces which i already have 12 inch pieces ready to go and that's you it says they use the cut yarn to wrap around and connect valence electrons that are sharing electrons covalent bonds um, if two atoms form an ionic bond, remove the push, push pin from the electron donor. If you notice in mine here for this bond, sorry about the video there. Okay, so if you notice here, I put the yarn around the push pin from hydrogen and the push pin um, from chlorine. All right, and the reason why I did that is because uh, this, this bond here for hydrochloric acid is actually a covalent bond, or more specifically, it's polar covalent, a uh, polar covalent bond. Um, and the reason why that is because um, uh, chlorine is much more electronegative than uh, hydrogen, so it's they're going to share the electrons. So in this in this instance, that's kind of how you have to show this. So I'll I'll just show you that one. The rest of these it says uh, for step seven, remove the push pins from the cork board. Repeat steps three through six for the creation of sodium chloride, potassium bromide, magnesium oxide hydrogen, oxygen, and so on. So you, you just go through and you set it all up. And again, if you need help figuring out how to set this up or understanding of ionic and covalent bonds, there's a lot of good stuff out there on Con, on the Khan Academy website. And if you just Google, you'll find some stuff. And uh, that's all I really got for the exercise. My next video will cover the actual experiment. Um, and that's it for part two. Um, I will leave you with this as a refresher. Just remember, um, it really helps if you understand your periodic table. If you're trying to determine the valence uh, number of valence electrons, all you have to do is look at the group that the atom is in um, when you're dealing with major groups. And the major groups are group 1, 2, and then you have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and, and 8. That's your noble gases. And just remember that all your atoms, are when they do combine, they're trying to get to become a noble gas, and that'll that's eight valence electrons on around its outer shell. That'll kind of help you understand how um, the alkali metals, alkaline earth metals on the left-hand side like to interact with the um, halogens and uh, some of the non-metals on the other side. Uh, that's all I got for now. Have a good evening.